Oh my god. <laughs> what is up everyone? I'm Joker777 and as you could tell by the title of this video up there, uh, this is my review for Sleepy Hollow's season finale as well as the whole entire season one review. A little thing for everyone, I'm not going to be, you know, doing spoilers for this. I will, however, be making a spoiler talk. And over there I'm going to talk about some things that I need, that I want to get off my chest, some of the uh, shocking things that came out of this episode, but I will not be spoiling though that for, that for y'all here. I can't talk today. I won't be spoiling that here. If you want to see the spoiler episode, I will be uploading it right after this one. Hopefully, it'll get uploaded in a decent amount of time. So this season finale was absolutely awesome. One of the things that I like about season finale is whenever they do a twist, like even just a subtle twist, it'll be good enough because that hooks you for the next season. This one had so many twists and turns, it wasn't even funny. And the thing is that these are twists and turns that I don't think anyone saw coming. Um, it was it was just, it was one of those things where it, it reveals and you're just like, your mind is just blown. And that's what happened to me when I was watching this. Like, it, like I literally like just finished the episode. I came up here to make a review. Usually, you know, I take time to think about what I'm going to say. Maybe I'll write some notes down or something like that. I did write two things down because they're minor things and I didn't want to forget them. But I had to get up here and talk about this episode. I had to get up here and talk about this finale. It was amazing, just like the show. Um, like I said, so many shocks, twists, and turns that I didn't see coming. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't see coming. Overall, this has been a great show from Fox. I love this brand new IP. And it is indeed coming back. They just confirmed fall of 2014 will be returning. I'm pretty sure around about the same time as Halloween. This is a Halloween-esque like show. So... I'm excited to have it back. I wish it was coming back sooner because I need to know what's going on now. Y'all know the deal by now. Week after week, I've been giving this show praise. I've been giving it acclaim. It's one of my favorite shows uh, of all time. Definitely one of the best shows I've seen Fox put out in a while. Um, everything about this show is great. The acting is always phenomenal. I love Tom Meissen's Zigbot Crane. He kills it in this role. I really can't picture anyone else playing this role, and I hope that Tom Meissen stays in this for the long haul. Nicole Beharry is great. Um, Katia Winter is amazing. Orlando Jones is good. Some pretty well solid performance acting jobs. The settings and the environment in this thing are great. Um, for example, in Purgatory, let me tell you something. Purgatory is a creepy place, and I hope that no one in the world has to go there. <laughs> Um, because it is a creepy, 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 creepy place. Uh, pretty much Ichabod, Abby, and, uh, Katrina are the only ones that go in there. Now, I do have to get, I guess I will give you a little bit of backstory about the episode. Basically, this whole episode is about, um, Ichabod and Abby are trying to get to Purgatory to, uh, release Katrina because the Horseman of War is coming to Ichabod, it's coming to, uh, Sleepy Hollow, and Katrina's the only one that can stop it, so they need to get Katrina out of Purgatory. The only way they can do this is by finding a map, uh, to which the location has been disclosed by George Washington in his Bible. That was the whole basic point of the episode. So, pretty much they're the only normal looking things in Purgatory. The rest of Purgatory is one creepy destination, man. And so the settings and the environment and the acting are all just superb. Um, they Really, that's what this show really is driven about, is, this, is the supernatural elements and the surroundings and the, and the environments. Had a little hiccup right there. Um... There were two things that kind of bothered me about this episode. Number one was Irving's kind of side plot line. They just dropped it for some reason. It seemed like they were picking it up like it was going to go somewhere. And I guess they're going to save it for season two, I'm guessing. But I didn't like the way they handled it. It was two quick scenes and then it was done. Like, there is kind of some resolution, but they didn't really, like, go too much into it. They didn't really, you know, tell what all was going to happen. Um, so they ended it kind of short and that kind of, like, was a negative for me. Another one, and this was, this this isn't really even a complaint, this is just kind of like over the top, like, how the heck could this ever happen? Granted, there is a guy without a head running around, but I mean, th this just kind of was just like over the top. So, Jenny finds out a big secret, and she's running off to tell Abby. If you want, if you want to hear the spoilers, go to the spoiler video, but I'm not going to say it here. So, the Horseman of Death is waiting in the road, and he's got a shotgun, and he shoots the car, that gets her stop, and he shoots out the tire to get her to not go anywhere. Then, for some reason, I don't. He doesn't fire another shot, mind you. He shoots out the tire. The tire flattens, and then the car just blows up. Now, I don't mean like it blows up. Like it's like it's like a bomb goes off to the side of the car like that, and it sends the car tumbling. So apparently, when you shoot out a car's tire, the car just lifts into the air. It blows up into the air, and it starts tumbling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And 
all that from shooting out a tire. So I haven't quite tested this yet. Maybe I'll grab a gun myself and go out there and start shooting people's tires and maybe we'll see what happens. I'm not going to do that really. That'd be stupid of me. Plus I know it wouldn't happen. But that was just kind of over the top. But aside from that, once again, this was an amazing finale, uh, full of twists and turns that I didn't see coming, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people did not see coming. I enjoyed this finale with, you know, every every second of it, just like I've enjoyed this show every second of it. This show has been amazing. You know, had there been some slow episodes, yes. Um, you know, had there, you know, been some kind of cheesy dialogue, yes, of course. Um, I still love it whenever they try to introduce Ichabod to, you know, the uh, 21st century lingo, 21st century technology. I still love that. A lot of people think that's corny for some reason. I enjoy it. Um, but, there, but there are, you know, a few elements to this show that are kind of like over the top. Uh, some episodes are slower than others. But overall, this show, in my opinion, in my honest opinion, I love it. I think it's an amazing show, and I definitely cannot wait for season two. So, that being said, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Did you watch the season finale? What did you think? Um, are you excited to see the show coming back so soon in about eight to nine months? Um, what, did you, what is your opinions of the show overall? What are you excited to see? I know I can't wait for the second season, and I know come fall of 2014, I'm going to be having like a little mini countdown going on in my head, and I'm going to be doing all kinds of little dances. I'm going to be doing, you know, tossing money everywhere. I don't know what that was. I'm being an idiot. So... <laughs> With that being said, guys, uh, just leave your thoughts and opinions on the show below. And, as always... Oh, wait, I forgot to give it a score, but you already know what the score is. It's an A. This show's phenomenal. I love it, and I can't wait for more. So, that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm Joker777, and I'll see you guys later.